Hello and welcome. This time we're going to talk about how to stop coronavirus. If you want, you can leave comments right over there. And also you can use the coronavirus in right over there. Anyways, so at the first day, you it would feel like one person you know is sick. And then the second day, it would feel like two people. And then the third day, four people. People, and then the fourth day, eight people, and in 50 days, much more than a trillion. That is, if the R is two and there's an infinite amount of people in your house. You know what I mean, right? So, how can we stop the disease, this disease? Now, first is quarantine. Now, quarantine is one of the most effective ways to stop a pandemic. That is, if there's no treatment. And even if there is a treatment, it can still be the first. As SARS, it's a very deadly virus. And it only, sp but it only spread it to around 8,000 people when it was super contagious and super deadly. That's because of quarantine. Now, quarantine is basically trapping people who have the disease, so they can't spread it to other people. And there's also another way. The way, the thing that is happening in most places, lockdowns and social distancing. It's basically going away from others because an infection has a certain infection radius that the disease can spread. If you're inside that radius, you can get infected. The longer you are in it, the more chances that you will also get infected. So, but if we if we put people in a farther location from others and use lockdown, the disease couldn't spread. So the disease wouldn't be as deadly as, you know, <coughs> this. <coughs> it would be more of, here's a person and here's, this is an infected person, this is a susceptible person. This person coughs and then this person gets infected too. But if they were doing social distancing, it would be like this. This is the infectious person. This is the susceptible person. This person coughs, but this per at the next day, this person still is susceptible because he didn't get the disease because he was out of the infection radius. And another way is, on, well, travel restrictions. I mean, all three of them are basically social distancing, but... Travel restrictions are restrictions to travel to other places, basically lockdown. But this also counts traveling to other countries to stop the spread. I mean, you know what I mean, right? But travel restrictions aren't really good late in the day. Because, I mean, if every community has it, then what's the use of stopping infectious people to go into another place. I mean, that's pretty useless. And another way is, wait, is there another way? Oh, yeah, hand washing. Now, washing your hands decreases the chance of you getting the infection. So, imagine you, imagine another scenario. There's a person which is infected and a person which is susceptible. Now, the infectious person coughs, but in the next day, he's still susceptible because he washed his hands with hand sanitizer, you know, and showered, you know, you know what I mean, right? Daily hygiene. But in another scenario, let's say that he didn't use hand sanitizer, you know, hygiene, then the, that person sh should also have a chance higher chance of getting infected. So, all these can really be effective on stopping diseases. What I personally only think is best for these is lowering the R, hand washing, 
and stopping the spread. Like, does not allow it for anybody to, to spread the virus, quarantine. And quarantine is really effective. But also, there's a problem with quarantine. It's basically impossible to trap every single infected person. So, we also have to flatten the curve. Like, this is a very deadly. This is. Have you ever heard of Philadelphia and St. St. Louis? Now, one of these countries had a parade, and the parade. After the parade, more than 4,500 people died. Every hospital in Philadelphia, I just remembered that the country was, I mean, the city was Philadelphia. Every hospital was filled with infectious people. But in St. Louis, there was a complete lockdown of schools and basically anywhere that's public. And much lower people died and the disease curve got flattened. That's why flattening the curve is so important. Because it allows all the people to get cured. If you want to research more about it, go here. A clue to that video, which the channel is awesome. And also here. It's an It's Okay to Be Smart video. It's also so cool. I recommend you watch it. And that's it for this video. If you liked it, like and subscribe. And bye!